Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame Quick Tip. Now this one's going to be all about uh, the freeform and inside of desktop reels. So freeform exists um, if you're using the library. So if I go into preferences, let's see if it's in timeline. It's in one of these guys in general maybe. Yeah, so in the media panel and under the general tab, there's protect from editing. If you take that off, I always like to leave that on. Some people don't. Um, but if I double click on this, he says that you can work from the library if you want, but the problem when you work from the library this way is obviously um, your desktop is independent of the library and I prefer to have my libraries locked and not touched. I like having my desktops independent of that. Now, I mean, the interesting thing is if you, if you do work from the library too, just like you can from the other guy, you have Reels and Freeform. So we have a copy of each and Freeform will be very familiar for um, old uh, Smoke guys specifically um, where you could um, park your um, your eye on your, your record area and then toggle between the greens. Now it's not exactly the same as before but I just want to get that point across that um, that 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 is kind of what you'd get um, when you'd want to work in the media panel um, because you can't actually view reels in media panels. So the only way you really could do that was through freeform but to not confuse that um, let's just go to desktop. So again I'm just working from desktop and this is more from an organizational um, standpoint for me that this really helps um, specifically here in Canada um, if we have a lot of um, French versions. So something I do usually is I'll just do a little friendly FRE and a little ENG and I'll usually have a little, you know, little arrow like that and say that was here. So we knew English was here and French is over here. Now this is all well and good, um, but it can get kind of out of control when you have uh, multiple versions and Instagram and you know you know the drill when it comes to deliverables um, and it can get a little cumbersome on the desktop and I get sometimes why people like the libraries as an option but um, I'm here to propose what's the other way so I mean again um, this is kind of worst case t scenario so let's say we had a whole bunch more because this is where it really comes into its own if we had a whole bunch, bunch more deliverables and we start copying these and you know when this really comes into its own when reels don't actually make sense anymore um, again so if we have these guys here and we copy over this is where it gets kind of cumbersome and yeah okay it would make sense just to look at this from the library if you were working out of the library but the thing to remember is um we have the option that's always lived there and you know i've forgotten ever since i kind of went to the uh anniversary edition is the freeform option now the freeform option is very cool so Again, we still have um, our, you know, what we're used to. Um, again, this, if someone was using um, the old uh, Smoke on Mac, you'd for sure be familiar with this. But the thing to remember with this is this is super powerful because it exists inside of Reels, um, if that makes sense. So again, I've got these laid out. And now if I go back to Reels, you see this, my structure is maintained through here. So every, anything that in this particular case is the yellow versions still lives in freeform but again um, you can if you hover over you can change that doesn't work sometimes too until you select it and then it will let you but yeah if I just wanted to visually kind of lay this out with versions for one area versions for another and you know let's go into paint again and I'll go insta and jump out so I know that these are my instas and then we could do uh, not text but paint again and let's do Facebook version, if we jump out, I'm just gonna drag these down here. And we could say, okay, this I know is my Facebook version, this I know is my Instagram version. Um, and again, and then I could say these were over here, and these would be my, if I just copy these, so I know that these two are gonna be the same, copy them over. Again, this is just kind of to prove that there, there still is value in the the freeform layout because for me sometimes it is easier just to pick up something like this visually um, and just kind of know where a project's at. It can be a little bit easier but again if you are going to do it let the person know but if I jumped in here and on the uh, actually I won't do it on that I'll do it on the Instagram one and I'll go paint and I'm just going to go front. Again it can be on whatever you want um, but I could just say this was the French version. Jump out and throw away the old one. Same with the Facebook. I'm just going to paint and just just do FRE and again this you can there's no reason to do this you can always do it in different ways if you want but again this is just something that I've used that's helped me with my sanity so again 
it's a pretty quick way if you did pick up this project again in desktop reels this is where it can get a get get a bit weird and cumbersome you could have all these multiple versions multiple reels living within you know real groups but again this is a way perhaps when it comes to just deliverables you know i prefer to have my timelines as working masters that I, all my setups live in batch effects personally um, pending the project of course but this is where it makes sense from a deliverable standpoint is okay i know that my deliverables for in this case yellow if i go to freeform I can see this is laid out nice. So I know straight away, okay, um, English is there, French is here, my Facebook stuff lives here. And again, the, your, your structure and your, your palette that you've laid out is completely independent of desktop reels. So that's gonna be it for this um, quick tip, guys. I hope that's useful and makes sense. Um, again, um, from, a, from an organizational standpoint and a quickly seeing where you're at, especially when you haven't touched the job for a while, this can be a godsend, to be honest. So um yeah that's going to be this this that's going to be it for this one guys um stay tuned for more